A lot of people ask me about components of a roof. So when I do a video about a roof, a lot of people say, um, so what, I often get confused by the components. So I'm gonna do you a really quick video about the different components of a timber roof. Here goes. Okay, so first of all, we got a common rafter. Everyone knows what a common rafter is. I'm gonna show you that here. Right, common rafter, plum cut at the top, simple bird's mouth at the bottom here, going over the plate and a seat cup. Then, you got a hip rafter, which obviously goes from the corner to the corner where the roof changes its plane. I'll just take you around there to see that. And the ones that join the wall plate to the hip rafter, jack rafters. So that's really important. They're called a jack rafter, okay? So onto the back of the roof here, we've got obviously the ridge that runs through. The ridge is generally level. It can be the apex of roof, or in our case, where the flat roof joins onto it. Then we've got an interesting section at the back, which is a small hip. And I actually call this one a fly hip because it comes off the top of a ridge, which is on a smaller roof, and joins up to the corner. And in our case here, we've got a 35 degree roof on the left and a 45 on the rear to match the rear slope. So it's an interesting angle. Moving around the back, I'll show you what a layboard is. So there we go. This one's a layboard, runs up here. It actually lays on those other rafters and forms a valley. And the ones that come into it, a valley layboard rafters okay so that's it that's the basic components of a roof obviously there's purlins there's struts and there's collars but i think that'll give you a bit of an in insight cheers